So we'll uh -huh. start with Lily. As soon as you mentioned politics, I thought, aha, uh -huh. this is where as a diplomat, as an Australian, my kids are really, really um, talking about the fact that their mum can't vote in Vienna, even though she's lived here for 30 years. And I read uh, an article that said that 30% of the Viennese were not eligible to vote because of their immigration status. Even people who had been born in Vienna to parents who immigrated 50 years ago, who have no Austrian citizenship. I'm going to change the topic completely. The black swan is native to Australia. And sometimes when I hear people talking about black swans, it's as if a white swan is the most natural thing in the world and black swans don't even exist. When you go to a public park in Australia, and even, of course, in the wild, you see the black swans everywhere. In fact, I've got photos of my family feeding black swans when we were visiting down under. So I think the, when I think of the terminology black swan event, it's, it's completely new to me as well. And I think that aspect of the black swan to me reflects somebody living in the Northern Hemisphere who has no idea of what is happening down under in Australia. Whereas if you tried to give this type of a talk in Australia, the black swans are everywhere. It's the most natural thing in the world. We, we don't so often see white swans. I can't say much about the political situation here in Austria, in Vienna, in the world, except that I do believe that we can come closer together, that we have the opportunities to promote world peace and understanding and integration. And I do believe that we have amazing opportunities. Let me talk about the one event that I found most exciting and inspiring at the beginning of this year when the corona crisis started. I was very impressed with Councillor, Chancellor Kurz and the cooperation of all of the other parties in setting up the strategies of how to deal with this dilemma. Now, there are still and always conflicting views and some people think that politics has to be an opposition which always opposes everything that the government presents. Wouldn't it be great if each one of us could see the good in every proposal, in every political party, in every religion, in every nationality, in every country, in every person that we meet, and then try and provide our own good aspects to make that a better, a better picture, a better platform to go to launch from, to really the pieces together like a puzzle to show that we are all actually integrated together instead of trying to fight against one another. So what I would say about politics, the best thing would be if we all learned to, to admit and praise and support and accept the good in each other and in the other political parties and only work on improving those aspects that need improvement when we have something to offer that is even better than what already exists. 